Hi everyone and welcome to this short video on how to revise for English. Um, this is a video for both parents and students so I will address both audiences as we go along. The first thing I would like to say is if anybody has any queries about English please can you use the class teacher as the first port of call and um, that would be really useful but if you do have anything that's really urgent, then you can um, direct that towards myself. So thank you for that. So um, I think it's really important for you to know that there have been some changes to the GCSE and what the GCSEs look like in terms of English language and literature. So hopefully on the screen you can see the breakdown for English language. The students will sit two papers, one in creative writing and the second paper is a non-fiction paper where they are allowed to demonstrate their opinions and develop a viewpoint. Both papers are an hour and 45 minutes long and both papers have a reading section and a writing section. Paper one for the creative writing will give them one extract based from a fiction novel. They will have 45 minutes and four questions. But what's most important is that they will have 15 minutes reading time at the start of this exam. And what is absolutely paramount for everybody to remember is that in this 15 minutes reading time, that is time that is exclusively meant to be for reading, highlighting, and annotating the text. Students should not be writing in their answer booklets at this time. The writing task will always feature two questions and it will always be a description or a narrative. We have seen instances where they have had a choice of two narratives or two descriptions, but more often or not, it is a description or a narrative. This is a task that is given 45 minutes and that includes planning and checking time. There are 40 marks available for this question, 24 for content and 16 marks for spelling, punctuation and grammar. On this GCSE more than ever, SPAG is really important and it equates for 20% of the overall grade. Paper two is a tricky customer. It's two extracts instead of one and it's the same amount of time. However, we still have the 15 minutes reading time, which is good, but the writing students seem to find a lot more accessible. This is where you may be asked to write a speech, a letter, an article, and you might be asked to argue, persuade, and we have even seen explain your point of view. This is a question that students quite often like, they enjoy because they get to have their say. Moving on to English literature, this is the biggest difference for all year 11 students this year. Due to COVID, the government and the exams body, Ofqual, have decided to remove a literature component. And the literature will now be based around four components rather than five. On the back of that, they have completely redesigned the look of the exam papers. Paper one will now be an extract from a Christmas carol and an essay question from an inspector course. And paper two will be an extract based on Macbeth and an essay question based on unseen poetry. You will notice the absence of the poetry anthology, the love and relationships. That has been decided after much discussion and debate to be removed. The hope is that the removal of a component will allow us to have the time for the other four components. So I thought it was important for you to have this overview going forward. So some more general tips. If you are out there thinking about how you can revise for English, the things you need to ask yourself. Do you know what each question is asking you to do? Do you know what wetter is? Can you use it? Do you know where you use SQI or transitional phrases? Are you or do you need to attend an intervention session? Currently, 
Miss Hutchinson and Miss Manners run an invite only session on a Thursday after school. However, if you feel that intervention is for you and something you would like, please speak to your class teacher straight away. Please don't leave it, act now. And also in regards to the literature, have you reread the text? Do you know the plots for A Christmas Carol, Macbeth and An Inspector Calls? More general revision techniques, past papers. Quite often I get asked, Miss, how do I revise for English? And the, question, and the answer I always give to that question, it's pure practice. It's repetitive practice over and over. Yes, retrieval, remembering things is part of it. But for you to get over the line, for you to achieve, it is practicing those skills. There are already past papers available on Show My Homework and your class team's areas. Please, please have a go at them. You are being set homework. Please make sure you are completing it. Bring past papers to your teachers for marking. We are more than happy to mark these for you. We are more than happy to show you where you've gained marks and where you could improve. We are more than happy to do anything to help you get across the line. We are not naive. We know you are not only studying English for GCSE. We know you have a lot on your plate. However, lots of revision, little and often, would be really useful. Please don't underestimate speaking to your teacher or you could speak to Mrs Chambers or myself, Mrs French. For literature, and I think I've already mentioned this, do you know the plot, the themes, the characters and the context for Macbeth, an inspector calls and a Christmas carol? I know we had to do Macbeth during lockdown, but everything that you needed was provided electronically and will still be there on your Show My Homework account. Have you made flashcards to help you revise? Again, you were asked to do these for an inspector course during lockdown. Did you do them? If not, do them now. If you need help with flashcards or you're not quite sure what a flashcard should look like, please speak to your teacher. For English language, find a piece of writing. What techniques can you find? Do you know what techniques are there and why? Why have they been used? Why are they effective? Remember, the most important word on your English language paper will be effect. Why has the writer done that? Revision guides and workbooks. All of these details have already been uploaded to your Year 11 class teams, but I wanted to say a little something about them. Over the years, many revision books have appeared. However, these are the ones we would strongly recommend. For English language, the SNAP Revision Reading and Writing are absolutely brilliant. They provide practical advice and lots of practice questions. The brown envelope on the far side of the screen contains two English language one papers and two English language two papers. Absolutely invaluable invaluable practice. For English literature, again, the snap provision for Macbeth, A Christmas Carol and An Inspector Calls. Fantastic books which are relatively inexpensive as well compared to other guides out there. These are not only brilliant for context, themes and character, but they give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the plot, and they also give you some extremely practical advice on essay writing and past questions. So if you're a parent watching this, what can you do? Please encourage your child to revise. Encourage your child to participate in intervention sessions if you feel this is right for them. If you are able to, purchase revision guides, but most importantly, a pack of highlighters. We train the students to use three colours for their English language. They have an awful lot of information 
to manipulate in an extremely short amount of time. Colour coding is invaluable. So if possible, a three pack of highlighters would be absolutely fantastic. And yet again, please, please be mindful that there are revision booklets, past papers and revision guide information all already on Show My Homework and Teams. Lastly, and most importantly, please make your full use of your English teacher. We are here to help you. We are here to teach you and we are here to help you achieve your potential. Use every single minute of lesson time. It is extremely precious at the moment and it is quickly running out. Come to any intervention that you think is suitable for you. And most importantly, do your homework, complete it. And if you are stuck, ask your teacher for some assistance. You could send a screenshot, you could come and speak to them. Like we said before, we are more than happy to assist you with anything you may need in order to help you get your qualification. Thank you for listening to this video. Hopefully it has been useful. My main message is revision. <laughs> revision, little and often, is clear. If you don't feel that revision guides are for you, YouTube is also brilliant, especially for the literature. And if you type the play and the novel into the YouTube, you will come up with some fantastic stuff. If you feel like you need some assistance with that, yet again, please talk to your teacher. Please speak to us. We need to work together so that we can get you to where you need to be. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.